Hello, and welcome to another edition of In the Studio with GMAC, a production of the Graduate Management Admission Council. I'm Rich D'Amato, GMAC's Vice President for Global Communications. Welcome to the show. Joining us today is Dustin Hunter from Hogan Assessment Systems, GMAC's partner in developing and distributing Reflect by GMAC, and the leading assessment developer in the rapidly expanding soft skills marketplace. The introduction of Reflect by GMAC has garnered a good bit of attention, but it's also brought some questions about how soft skill assessments work, how the Reflect assessment works, and how soft skills fit into the business school setting. Thank you, Dustin, for traveling all the way from Tulsa to be with us today. Let's start right at the beginning. What are soft skills? Soft skills really in its simplest form is people skills. And I always like to think about the difference in soft and hard skills as, again, people skills versus um, some type of, uh, of trainable skill, mm -hmm. like financial skills or accounting skills. Skills that are measured by tests with right and wrong answers. Soft skills are measured by personality assessments, such as the Hogan, that don't have right answers and get at more of the personality characteristics of the person. Well, it sounds like you're talking a little bit about personality and behavior, and this sure. is something you and I have talked about. Can you say a little something about why personality and behavior matter and why measure them? Sure. So personality is really how a person is, is hardwired, right. their, their gut instinct, their characteristic, what makes them who they are. I often use the analogy of handedness. So a person is born with a certain preference, uh, a certain natural tendency to write, is right-handed, but they can learn how to write with their left hand if they need to. That's how we see personality. And so for Reflect, uh, personality is what's powering that engine. So what right. we're assessing there is the innate, the innate characteristics of these people. Well, it's interesting. You're, you're talking about innate characteristics, and the way in which Reflect measures or at least delivers results sure. is through a spectrum of 1 to 10. And again, another one of the questions we've been getting from schools all over is, what does that mean? What does that spectrum mean? Because you've described it as there are positives and pitfalls at either end of the spectrum. Can sure. you describe that a bit? Sure. Um, the spectrum is again 1 to 10 and at Hogan what we would say is there's not really a perfect score, an ideal profile that you'd want to see because again we're getting at this through the soft skills. Mm -hmm. So somebody that's a 10 isn't necessarily going to be uh, more equipped or better at something than, than, than the individual who's a 1, right? It's a spectrum. Um, there are positive and negatives at each end. Mm -hmm. So somebody that's high on drive for instance um, might not be somebody that knows when to turn off that internal competition. Somebody that's a low on drive, let's say a one or a two, might be somebody that's uh, a better team player. Maybe they're more collaborative and like to bring others on board with them. So for that reason, we always say that there, uh, as you mentioned, positives and negatives at each end. No. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. And please join us again as we continue our discussion on Reflect by GMAC.